My name is Elus Mutweli from Kenya. I have been suffering from back pain, legs, joint pain, and abdominal pain, and neck, and my shoulders for seven years. And this is my medical report from Taiba Medical Center. Now we are looking at this medical report from Taiba Medical Center in Kenya. It belongs to Sister Elosi Gatabe. Dr. Hassan referred her here to have x-rays done of her lumbar and cervical spine. So upon examining her, they noted that she has got anterior early osteophytes involving L3 to L4, as well as osteophyte exchanges involving C5 to C6. So she was diagnosed with early cervical and lumbar spondylosis. This is being confirmed by the medical officer, Philip Radoli, who examined her. Presently, she has got difficult in walking, bending, squatting, and doing any strenuous work. For these seven years, you see how she has got so much difficult in her walking. Healing is now flowing from the hands of Jesus Christ towards this lady, and on the floor she goes. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you. We bless your holy name. See what is happening in the life of Sister Elosi. No one is touching her brethren, but see how she's stretching out the hands, the legs. Demon out. And the clean spirit out. In the name of Jesus. She's now being delivered from all powers of darkness responsible for her pain and torment. No one is touching her, but the Holy Spirit is busy at work, untangling her from all the chains the devil had used to connect her to sickness, to pain. Raza Pongo, your friend. Thank you, Jesus Christ. No deliverer like Christ Jesus. Sister Elosi is now rising up. Her life will never be the same again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm healed. My name is Elosi Gatabi from Kenya. When I came here, I was so much in pain. But after the prophet had prayed for me, I didn't know what was happening. I just f found myself lying down. And from there, I heard him telling me, rise up, you are healed. And right now, I'm feeling my body is right. I had so much pain in my legs, in my waist, in my back, everywhere. My body was aching. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. She's a new oh, Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> clap, clap for Jesus Christ. Oh. in the name Jesus Christ totally transformed Sister Elusi Mutwiri from Kenya. This is a lady who suffered with pain all over her body, in the joints, in the back, in the shoulders for seven years. But after the prayer by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, all pain was gone. The following day, she came back to testify as you can witness. My name is Els Gatabi from Kenya. The problem that brought me here is severe bike pain, shoulders, neck, and my right leg. I have been suffering for this pain for almost seven good years. I couldn't do anything at all. I depended on my husband to help me in case of anything. I have been going to hospitals, being given medication, but I couldn't be healed. So one day, I met a friend. She told me, there is a man of God in Uganda, so that's why 
I decided to come here to Kakande Ministry. And we came here on Thursday. We were privileged to be put on prayer line on Saturday. When the man of God was praying for me, I didn't know what happened. I just found myself down. And so much pain. I, I felt that as if I'm creeping a mountain. And there I was rolling, rolling, and all of a sudden I felt relaxed and, his, and the man of God told me, wake up. Then I waked up and when I stretched my arms, my legs, I couldn't feel any pain and I was so happy. <laughs> First, I couldn't bed like this, and today I can bed easily. I couldn't walk like this without pulling my leg and limping. And today I can even learn. I could even swing my waist. I can sit easily, I can stand up, surprisingly, yesterday I waked up at 3 p.m. I washed clothes, bending, the rusty bone is two and a half since when I gave birth to that kid. I have never washed my clothes or their clothes or their Anything I depended by either somebody to come and do it for me or my husband. Hey, my neck is okay. I glorify the Jesus. <laughs> and my husband has suffered a lot. He always asks me, How are you bored at the right time because you are complaining so much? Your kids need me. You, you are here. I am at work now. He has been transferred to Madeira. Now his worry was, how will I leave you with the kids when you are like this? I told him, don't worry. Let's go to Gakande Ministry first. Then, after that, we can talk about it. He is somewhere here. Okay. This is my husband. He can talk what he has been going through with me by himself. Praise Jesus. Yeah. Praise Jesus once again. Yeah. My name is Richard Kenya from Kenya. And uh, the person besides me is my lovely wife. And we've been blessed with two sons. That is Rayson and Ryan. My bond to these kids is very strong because their mama has been unwell for quite some time. Around seven years, that is. And I've been always with them because she couldn't handle them as expected. I was recently transferred from my place of work that I was living with them and I was so much worried about them because actually the place I'm going to work is not comfortable with the family. So when my transfer came, I asked my wife, uh, how will you handle your sons now? Because I'll have to work alone or I'll have to leave you people. But she told me, get hold of me. Let's go to Uganda. And we came all the way from Kisumu where I work. And we reached to this place and after reaching, we were prayed for, 
and the Lord did his miracle. This lady could not uh, wash clothes, and at times we hired uh, people to do the cleaning for her, and sometimes there are some clothes you can't hire someone to clean them for you. So I was the one taking part in the cleaning. <laughs> the day my wife was prayed for, uh, she woke up at 3 a.m. and she washed clothes. So I asked her, how comes that you are cleaning the clothes yourself? She told me, after being prayed for, she has been okay, and she can do it for herself. And I blessed God for what I saw myself, because I've never seen it for quite some time. <laughs> My wife is okay now, as I can see her. Because I witnessed it the, uh, the day she was prayed for. The following day at 3 a.m., I saw that she was okay. And up to now, I haven't had any complaint from her. Thanks be to Jesus Christ. We thank Jesus, even for him being there for me. And I glorify the name of Jesus, and I thank the prophet Samuel Gakande for praying for me. I don't know how I can put it, but I'm so happy because <laughs> I don't believe it myself. Yesterday I seated here the whole day from around turn up to evening without complaining or trying to find something to put on my back when I'm seated. It was a joy and I glory Jesus. Thank you so much. Antobamero Aza Uganda Kuna Mtomurungu na kuorania ugakarana au urewa ile na tia kutia kuthirwa intuku emwe seconds yani nyate intuku i seconds or few minutes okay there are the na tia kutia the sikuthira na we sawa kire okadhidia ingarama ritwere utekurewa ukinya guko na okora ritwerea Jesu we bless Jesus. Thanks be to Jesus Christ, the wonderful healer. Thank you, Jesus.